So, today we're doing three phase power. <laughs> For a domestic electrician, three phase power is probably very scary and probably something you don't come across very often. <clears throat> I'm quite lucky because I come across this, you know, a couple of times. Um, and obviously I was trained to you trained to do my inspections on these contraptions. Um, obviously, for those that don't know, three phases is exactly what it means. We're taking all three phases from the incoming straight into the port. So there's a total of 400 volts running through here, which is then split into 250 volts running all around the building. I will not go into the technology on that right now. But, as you can probably see on the board here, you can see they're all split into the three phases, L1 to L3, and there are six ways. Yes, there are six ways here. Yes, I oh, know there's 18 <laughs> circuit breakers, um, but there are six ways here because you've got three phases. Six ways, three phases, 18 circuit breakers, okay? When you're doing your inspections, it's exactly the same as you would do for a domestic. It's no, no different there. You, you do continuity and all the other check takes as exactly as you were. You're still dealing with 250 volts at the sockets and at the lights. No difference there. The difference is in here, in this bit. This is where when you're doing your PFC and your ZE calculations, that's where this is different and that's where this video is all about what the differences are to get those readings from a three-phase system as opposed to a single phase because there is a difference in doing it. Anyway, I am waffling as per normal, so let's get this cover off and let's show you what you have to do for your ZE uh, PFC. Just very quickly, so for these tests that you're going to see in this video, I'm using a QTEC KT63DL and it's going to be set, just it there, there we go, onto the high setting and that's where all the tests will be done from and on the top of the unit just turn that off all the cables will be connected into the live setting so into these three uh, ports here the other two on the other side whoo, hang on. the other two on the other side are set for the dead test so just again just slide that across so we're using those three connections so that's what we're using for these tests well, I'm hoping that will stay. So this is how you do, um, you're doing your PFC and your ZEs on this, okay? You do it three times, you take the highest reading, okay? So I've got my crocodile clip on the earth. Yes, I know I'm doing potentially parallel paths as well. I know uh, I could take off the earth cable and do it that way. I'm gonna do it this way. Um, but if you want to do it without risking parallel paths, you take out the main earth. Okay, so I'm going to put this probe on the neutral and do the first one. And do the first one. I've set my tester to um, automatic. I'm doing the three D. I'm doing the three D test here. So we've done the earth first, neutral next, and then we're going to do L one. See what we get. Okay, 0.14 for the ZE reading. Okay, take off your L1 probe, your neutral probe. Now I'm gonna do L2. Same procedure. So 0.13 for the ZE. Probes off. So now we're going to do L3. Off the line, off the neutral. Getting point one four for the ZE. Right, so those tests are done where that's concerned. And now I'm going to do, I'll explain what the next test is in a second. Right, so we're now going to do a two lead test 
just between neutral and L1, L2, L3. So on the probes, as you can see, I'm using the connector on the green on there. So that makes a neutral probe with a brown probe. We're connected through the earth. And we're going to do this test, which is between the neutral and the line. And then I'll tell you the readings of what you're going to do to them. So I'm on hands free. And onto the neutral first, as always. And then L1. We're getting point 0.1 of an open ZE. Wait for it. Take off the live, take off the neutral. And we're getting 2,498 amps on L1. So now we do the same for L2. So we'll take the highest reading of that and then we're going to double it. I'll explain why we double that for the paperwork later on in the video. But that is one of the daddy tests. Now, looking at the board, now looking at the board, it looks reasonably neat and tidy. Now we do have rings on the, looks like we do have rings in fact, on those socket circuits. So that looks reasonably good. It looks reasonably neat, to be honest. I don't see any problems with that whatsoever. Yeah, reasonably neat and tidy. Uh huh. Okay, cool. Yeah, doesn't look too bad at all, actually.